Hey, my name's Sophia, and welcome to this midweek tarot love reading for soulmates and twin flames. So let's get started. Well, hey there, just shuffling now. Just want to state, I'm saying in all, most of my videos that, hold on one sec. I'm a clairvoyant tarot reader clairvoyant image reader and energy reader which basically means that I look at the images within the cards I'm a little different than most of the tarot readers well, I'm stating this because of sometimes it takes me a while and you might see me pause and go quiet and just focus I just pause over an image because I'm trying to work out what is being shown to me in the image but so I'm telling you this so you please bear with me because it takes a little time but I do speed up and I promise you you'll get more of a detailed read from it so okay let's get ready let's let get going shall we okay my start <clears throat> Loads gonna come out. Take one of them. <clears throat> right. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Total love. <laughs> Total love, commitment, everything from the off. Want to live together, move in, marriage, everything here at the beginning. Emotional love, first line, total love, moving in together, everything, everything, everything. But it's not starting. So you're planning to move in, get married, all that kind of thing. But it's a nightmare because it's not starting. This new beginning is not starting. This new moving in, whatever. So someone is kind of slightly losing passion and someone's fearing that this person is losing passion. But they're defensive. Why? <clears throat> Let's have a look at you. What's going on with you, please? Why are, why is there not a start here? Why is there not a start? <clears throat> Some kind of deceit. Mm, I'm picking up that maybe there's a someone else involved i'm not sure if this person lives with someone but what's going on here 
is that someone's picking up that there's lies, sneaky behavior, that kind of thing, and thinks maybe this person is falling out of love with them anyway. So it's making them fall out of love with them. Because this person's not making up his mind what to do. He's not. It's like he's just all talk, but not actually moving forward. I'm picking up. Yeah, he's not making. He's not making the choice. He's just talking about it. But he's stuck. To me, it doesn't feel like a third party could be, but it feels like his mum. Mummy's boy situation here. This guy could live with his parent, his mother, and he feels torn. He feels really torn. This is a nightmare situation. This is like this guy's got two loves and he doesn't know. He doesn't want to leave his mum. Now his mum looks all right. There's no drama with her. It's this guy who's making all the co mental conflict. But he wants to live with you. There's absolutely he wants to live with you this is him this is you i know you can't see he may come across sometimes like he's not interested but this guy is clearly thinking and figuring out how to move forward and live with you without making his mum now she might be saying to him small things like what am I going to do without you that kind of thing but there's no malice here to me there's only malice if this is a woman who treats him like a child <laughs> then that's different but this is someone who looks to me quite sweet it's your man who's in his brain who is like feels bad to leave her that's what i'm picking up from this reading he's also feels kind of like the father of the the house i can't pick up if there's a dad here so maybe single parent or his dad's passed on that's other cards i haven't i'm just mentioning that but i haven't picked that up but This is what this is what this is read. It might be specific for somebody, but this guy is in his head, and it's like he can't figure it out. And for you, you're like you've walked away because he's taking too long. He keeps changing his mind. He's up and down. They've just clarified what I've just said that you you know he looks like he loves you but it's burdens because he keeps changing his mind. What what are you showing me there? He can feel you both feel this deep connection, twin flame thing. He may come across like sometimes silly, immature. And then sometimes mature and you're like, well, I don't get you. Yesterday he was messing about today. I'm like, you're like serious and planning things. <laughs> changing character, changing personality. Sometimes when he's 
immature he can be a bit sharp tongue fresh i call it okay any advice please for this specific reading any advice advice what's that oh my gosh what am i picking up here what's that hmm what is that one sec what are you showing me there please what is that oh does he play the harmonica <laughs> that's so weird oh okay any advice please okay they want you to have a good think i don't know why <laughs> and let me figure out why they're telling you that this is like um meditation um time out reflection but why why do you want them to do that what what do they need to think about they want you to think about why he's hurt you so maybe you know more than me from just this read to use your intuition to figure it out They want you to recognize that he's in a he's in a situation where he feels like he has a lot of things to sort out and he has no choice. He's got a lot he feels like at the same time he has a lot of choices but there's no choice. So he has to narrow down his choices. which is creating the heartbreak, which they want you to have a deep think and recognize that that is why this is happening. Because from the start, from the off, fantastic. So there's obviously a reason why. If it is he's with someone else and it's a woman, there's no love there. The first row was you two loving together and living together. There's still he wants to do that. So maybe this is the last card of advice is to just take a step back, reflect, definitely to do with the heartbreak. So it's like he's in heartbreak, you're in heartbreak, you both love each other. And then the choices cards come out. It's like they understand his burdens. But why? That's kind of thing. So you have to, oh, yeah. He's with someone, he can't get out, his mum's like this. Think about it that kind of way. That's the last card of advice. So hopefully this is useful for someone and thanks for listening.